Set 3 of the ions has a lot of polyatomic ions. And polyatomic, you know, poly means many, atomic means atoms, so many atom uh, ions. Unlike something like chloride, which is just, you know, a single one, or sodium, those are single atoms. But polyatomic would be like the nitrates, where you have nitrogen and you got three oxygens with it. So that group of atoms together has a charge. Now, there are several of the polyatomic ions, and you have to memorize those. So there's nitrate, and there's carbonate, chromate, permanganate, chlorate, sulfate, phosphate, and there's a couple of other ones as well. So we're going to use a mnemonic to kind of help this, and something I've learned on the Internet. And so uh, we're going to take words. Okay, we have a phrase. Where they, and the way we do this is if we look at the uh, word itself, you're going to pick out the vowels. Okay, so the vowels, you know, here's I, A, E, I, O, and U. So that one vowel, that's important. And we're going to pick out the consonants, okay, and the consonants, so the N and the C and the K, so three consonants. And uh, we're going to look at the first letter. That's going to help remind us. So Nick is going to be our reminder for the, for the ion nitrate. So Nick starts with N, so there's where we get our nitrate, the N part of it here. And then the three consonants, okay, the N, the I, and the C, okay, those are the number of oxygens, because each of these guys has a bunch of oxygens on it. So it's got three oxygens on here, and that comes from the three consonants. Okay, and the last part is how many vowels, and there's one vowel, there's the I, and that means it's got a one minus charge, and that's how we mem memorize these. Okay, so uh, the phrase we're going to be looking at here is called Nick the Camel ate a creamy, moldy clam for supper in Phoenix. Nick the Camel ate a creamy, moldy clam for supper in Phoenix. And that's going to help with each of these. Nick the Camel ate a creamy, moldy clam for supper in Phoenix. Okay, so you can see how it works. Here is, is uh, starts with nit N, so that's nitrogen. There are three consonants, I mean, so there's three oxygens, and it's got one vowel, so it's minus charge. And all of these are negative ions. They're all negative ions. Okay, camel. We have two vowels, so it's going to be a two minus charge. It's got, uh, starts with a C, okay, and then the oxygens, there's one, two, three. There are three consonants, so it's CO3, two minus. That's help us remember carbonate. Creamy, okay, creamy starts with chromium, CR, and how many oxygens? There's one, two, three, four consonants all together, so the R counts as, R and the C count as two different ones, CRO4, there's two vowels, so it's two minus, so that's the chromate ion, CRO4, two minus. Moldy is going to help us with permanganate, so it starts with an M, but there's no element M, it's manganese. Okay, it's got one, two, three, four consonants, and it has a one vowel, so it's a minus one. Clam, okay, I hope it will remind us that it's Cl. Okay, that starts with the chlorine. And we have one, two, three, three consonants, so it's O3, one vowel, so it's a minus charge. And the supper is SO4, so we got sulfur, starts with there. We have one, two, three, four four uh, consonants, four oxygens, two vowels, so it's two minus, supper. And phoenix, first you got to remember how to spell phoenix, and that's the hard part. But it starts with a P, and it's got one, two, three, four vowels, O4, and it has one, two, three uh, vowels, I'm sorry, four consonants, three vowels, so it's PO4, three minus. So this totally doesn't mean anything, it's just a mnemonic, and if this works for you, that's good. Okay, um, so, you know, get yourself familiar with those ions, and then maybe this phrase will help you come up with it. So you could, you know, at the bottom of a quiz, you could write that out and figure these out really quick. So Nick the Camel ate a creamy, moldy clam for supper in Phoenix. And these other words in between are just, you know, uh, fill-in words, so they, they don't mean anything. So Nick the Camel ate a creamy, moldy clam for supper in Phoenix. Now there's a couple of other ions in here, so we saw we saw a way to memorize carbonate, CO3 two minus, but there's also bicarbonate. Okay, and bicarbonate comes from if you put an H plus with a, a carbonate, then you get HCO3, 
So just put H with the CO3, and you have a plus charge, and you have a minus 2 charge, so you end up with a minus 1 charge. So bicarbonate, like bicarbonate of soda that you'd have in the house, bicarbonate is HCO3, 1 minus. So if you have carbonate memorized, bicarbonate shouldn't be so bad. Now, there are some of these on our, uh, that are not on our list, but you might come across it. There's something called bisulfide. So S2 minus bisulfide is HS1 minus. There's sulfate, SO4, 2 minus. And there's something called bisulfate, bisulfate, which is HSO4, 1 minus. And again, those are not on our list. They're on the AP list, by the way. But they're not on our list because they're not that common. Now, chromate, we had a way to memorize chromate, and uh, all of these different atoms, okay, or these ions, you know, they're surrounded by oxygens. So this guy has four oxygens around it, and that's why it's CRO4. Some of them only have three, though, so you have to be careful. So this guy has four of these. And what about dichromate? Dichromate is the same idea. It's got a chromium with an oxygen and another chromium, and then they're surrounded by oxygens. So all together, if you count that up, that's seven oxygens on the two chromates. So uh, this is dichromate, so chromate and dichromate. So if you know chromate and you can visualize this, maybe that'll help you with the dichromate. They both have the same charge. Okay, last one over here is acetate. Now vinegar is acetic acid, and we're going to learn in class that acetic acid is CH3, so like a methyl here. And then we have this group of atoms, C double bond O, O, H. Okay, that makes it an acid. Well, what happens is this H has a tendency to come off as H plus and leaves the rest of it behind as negative. So one way to write acetate is, say, CH3, which is kind of going left to right, CH3, COO with a minus charge. CH3COO with a minus charge. So kind of going left to right, it's sort of telling you how to draw this. CH3COO with a minus charge. The other way is just to put the atoms together. And we see we have 2C, so C2H3O2, so C2H3O2 minus. So for acetate, we have two ways that you see this. Okay, the, uh, you will see them both, you know, in different times. Uh, if I say, tell me acetate, you can tell either one, and that's fine. And those are all the different ions in the set three, which is a little more complicated than set one and set two.